from the Sudan, weighing 375 pounds, Abdullah the Butcher. Well, 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 Damian Kane's mortgage on his house is in very safe hands tonight. Damian Kane's newest protege, Abdullah the Butcher, and his stick, Big Larry. Here in the National Wrestling Federation, here comes the mask and Abdullah the Butcher with the grooves in his head that you could fit a quarter in against Joey Valiant. And right now, officials circling around ringside to see this match. And Abdullah from, right from behind grabs Joey Valiant, brings up Damian Keenan even out of the ring. He just throws him right out of the ring, right outside of the ring. Ring, ring uh, what, what do you call that guy? The guy who rings the bell. The timekeeper, okay. The timekeeper is stable and Abdullah now right here, right, right near us. And uh, there I am, and I'm, I'm ready to run. Uh, Abdullah now coming right over to the monitor table, and uh, these monitors are in bad shape as Joey Valiant's head is slammed right in. Joey Valiant, I think, is busted open, and he is an Abdullah now. What is he doing to the man? He's using those karate vests. Damian Kane. Now. Him and take a look at it. That's why they call him Abdullah the Butcher. He's a one of a kind, a wrestling machine, 460 pound, massive human being. Take a good look at it. He destroys opponents. Pay attention, Paul Hammond. Pay attention. Damian Kane, the self proclaimed godfather of professional wrestling, with his words of wisdom, Abdullah the Butcher who has been noted as the man with more foreign objects than Neil Mastros has holds, has a little knife in his tape. And he took Joey Valiant, and he sliced him right outside the ring, right in our camera's view. And right now we're trying to get everything put together over here because Abdullah slammed the guy onto our timekeeper's table. And uh, now Joey Valiant has nowhere to run. Because everything is in shambles over here. Abdullah just messed up the entire front row. Joey Valiant with blood dripping down into his eye right now. The referee telling Danny Kane to get away from Ryan Abdullah. Joey Valiant very wisely backing off. Joey Valiant should seriously consider right now going back to the dressing room. Abdullah all over the man, slicing him up, and up. Joey backing off, and Abdullah now again. Again, this time, a little razor blade right in his tape, right near his fist, and Abdullah punching him. And look at him punch, opening up the other cut. A small cut that was on the top of Joey Valiant's head has now been opened to a second gash, and Valiant is in trouble. Officials witnessing this match. And they are all in shock, their mouths dripping open. Abdullah now coming around here with a chair. WF officials just sit here and wait. Wait to make a decision as to whether this man should be banned from professional wrestling. My opinion is yes. This man should be locked up. Let's watch this again now. Abdullah in the corner, coming now into the screen. You see Damien saying, go, go, give him another, give him another. And Abdullah just flying into the screen. Let's go up to Gary Capetta. 
And in fact, let's not. Let's right now get some police into here. Look at this guy. He's beating him with Big Larry, that stick. Beating him with Big Larry. And this is disgusting. Oh! Stabbing him with that. We got a close up now with Joey Valiant and Damian Kane bringing him out. Abdullah. Oh! Poking him with that stick. The blood all over the face. The eye is cut. The eye. Joey Valiant's eye is cut right below his eye. He is deeply gassed. Right above his eye, he's deeply gassed. His forehead, he's gassed. It's the side of his face, he's gassed. Let's go up to Gary Capetta. Let's get out of here.